Yes, uh, this book is about the bootloaders because there was some uh, a lot of discussion in the Debian Devil uh, mailing list about if we should uh, still support uh, Lilo or we should change the bootloaders. And the first discussion is was to, to move to the group uh, bootloader, but uh, as uh, it already the default, but then some people uh, ask that uh, maybe the uh, X Linux uh, would be better. So I, I tested some bootloaders and I prepared some discussion to see what are the problem, what uh, are the solution, and uh, so that we can report again to Debian developer and uh, let the release, must, uh, release manager to choose if we should remove uh, Lilo or not. Uh, at uh, the beginning, I prepared some, uh, uh, something about the booting sequence. It's the part that I know very well uh, some because I was uh, uh, disassembling uh, a lot of uh, operating system uh, to see how it work the BIOS the, and the bootloaders. So at the beginning, there the are the hardware and the BIOS. I don't think we should sp speak a lot of, about this, but uh, the important thing is that the BIOS put the CPU in, the, in a very old mode, the 16-bit, uh, but also with the A20 line that... Okay, let's... The, uh, also the twen A20 line that it's a, a, a line uh, to address uh, the memory was put off to have a, a really compatibility to the first Intel processor, the uh, 8086, 8088. And uh, I think that uh, this line, nobody will use it since uh, 10, 15 years, but BIOS loader, the B, uh, BIOS uh, puts this line, and then there are always the problem with suspend to disk. And so it's important that to know that the BIOS has uh, a very old uh, interface. And it's the only pro uh, that it seems stable. And then there are the OS uh, boot. Uh, now the modern uh, keyboard, uh, the, mo the, the modern motherboard that try at the beginning to boot uh, with the network, with the XE bot uh, P protocols. And then they check uh, a valid media that at, uh, at the end of the first, se uh, the first uh, sector, uh, this uh, uh, magic number, 55AA. Uh, the, the BIOS will load this sector. So it's important to know that we have only uh, 500 uh, bytes to, to load the rest of operating system. So there are not very much uh, things that we can do about uh, different uh, hardware, different uh, file systems. Uh, the old method that uh, was in the PC DOS, for example, there was two type of uh, boot sector, the master boot uh, record uh, like. Uh, in this uh, master boot record, we have four partitions and uh, the loader try to, fi to find the active partition and boot this uh, lot, the boot sector, the first sector of this partition and uh, boot this partition. And uh, 
now science a lot of years we, ha we can have a lot of more partition and this partition are uh, partition inside over partition so in case of five or more partition we recourse this method or they are the boot sector in, do in uh, those there was some setup of BOS because of flop of crappy uh, floppy parameters and then it would uh, try to to load to find the EO system or MS DOS system, it depends on the version. Uh, it will try to locate this file and to load this file. And then it will uh, execute this file. And uh, this is the very is similar to what we will what uh, X Linux will do. It try it seems that it try to simulate this uh, old DOS behavior. Then we have uh, also Linux. We should boot Linux. Uh, now the yes. We still have the boot sector at the beginning of the Linux image. We can test it with, uh, and we see the signature at the end of the first uh, sector. But uh, as far as I know, it's not usable since uh, the, I think the version 2.0 two, two of uh, Linux kernel cannot boot this way. And now it's also too big and uh, yes, it's, I don't know if somebody tested this method. And uh, you, uh, the old method was to use RDF and similar tools to set up the parameter, the root partition, direct in the kernel image. Then uh, we had a Linux loader, the first Linux loader were Lilo. Uh, and it has the advantage that we can choose the what kernel to boot. We can uh, set up the parameters on the boot prompt. And we can boot also over uh, operating system. And it worked also for the hard, hard, hard disk. So it was a nice uh, improvement. But still uh, with a lot of problems that we see later. Then, uh, yes, the bootloader will uh, load the Linux kernel and the initial uh, init uh, RAM, the initial ro uh, root system will execute this. Kernel will, uh, uh, first it will decompress, it will uh, set up the CPU, it will load the loader, it, it will execute the first, uh, it will mount the root system and execute the init. And uh, now we have the init RAM file system that it's uh, executed by this init. It will uh, try to load the real root. It will uh, then change the root and continue the, the booting process. So there are already a lot of, of uh, step and uh, different program, different maintainer, different uh, view of how to boot uh, Linux that might be in some time later should be unified. Then I, okay, so we go to the real part with the bootloaders and here I want to have some feedback, some discussion about problem because the main problem is that there are so many different type of, uh, of use with server uh, and desktop that it's very difficult to, to know if there are one uh, single bootloader that can do all uh, things. 
Uh, I forgot to tell you that now I am speaking only of the PC architecture, so the E386 and the EA, uh, no, AMD 64 architecture. At the both uh, time, they are the same architecture, and only of yes, on the PC architecture, not on the Mac PC that use an over BIOS and over boot uh, sequence, and not on the over architecture. It's also not, uh, it would be nice to have also one single bootloader for all the architecture, but I don't think it's possible to have a single interface. So they are uh, Lilo, it's the first bootloader. Uh, the, the last version uh, come in uh, February 27, uh, to 2007. And uh, now there are no upstream uh, website available. They are, um, it seems that, yes, the upstream uh, is dead, but Lilo has this problem since a long uh, year ago, D and uh, sometimes we manage to, f we, we the, co the Linux community managed to find uh, some uh, new maintainer. Uh, it seems that now there are no, we are lack of maintainer, and, and this is the big problem because Lilo sh should have some uh, additional uh, development and support, for example, for the multi-boot protocol. Then we have a uh, group uh, one, the old gr group. It's not only for uh, Linux, it works also for hard and a lot, and it works for a lot of uh, architecture. Uh, the, also in this case, the real last upstream version is very old. 2005, but there are st still some activity in uh, subversion and uh, Debian uh, take a uh, new patch. But uh, upstream don't want to uh, include new, new feature in this group loader. So they are the second uh, generation bootloader, uh, but it's not so used. Also the last uh, official version is very it's not very old, it's too old. It's for 2008 in GPL3, uh, but there are a lot of activity in subversion. Now there are a lot of activity. Also in this case, uh, it seems that it's not so, so a sexy things to have uh, to work on a little bootloader. So we see that on some years there are fast, uh, there are fast no development. And then they are the last uh, born uh, si uh, bootloader, they are the Sys uh, Linux. It uh, was already used since a lot of time uh, to boot uh, the CD-ROM. And uh, for network uh, uh, loading, but uh, now we have also the X Linux. That it seems that it tries to simulate the old DOS behavior, so it's very small uh, bootloader, but uh, with with few features. But it's as the nice things that it uh, it was used for the CD bootloader, so it has a lot of support for help for uh, for user interface before loading. Uh, the real operating system. And also the nice feature is that it's developed by H. Peter Arvin, that it's the maintainer of the kernel boot sequence. And it's, we know very well BIOS and uh, interaction suspend to disk on, on Linux kernel. So in this case, uh, the, the bootloader and the kernel development are always compatible, but only for Linux. So uh, the design, uh, Lilo 
used a very simple uh, design. It, uh, at runtime, it, it will find every sector of the kernel, uh, the, the number of the sector, the BIOS encoding of such sector, and it put in a file. So uh, the, the Lilo at the very simple task to, to load this sector already encoded in the BIOS schema. But the main problem is that uh, if one overwrite some kernel, some old kernel, then the Lilo uh, cannot boot anymore. And this is uh, very annoying. Uh, now the, then there was some development in on Lilo. We have a menu, we have a password, protector uh, boot. But yes, it's not so feature we as the group one, uh, group one and group two. Group one and group two take a different uh, design. They have maybe a big uh, code. In this case, this was, um, yes, a big code in one or two stage to load the, the grab loader. But when we have the, the group, we have the prompt, and he can read a lot of partition. He can read the kernel, uh, some file that was not uh, available uh, when we install group. So it's, uh, in this case, it's, it seems that it's difficult to, to have a non-working uh, booting. Uh, but as we see in the mailing list, there are still some problems sometimes. And last is the X Linux. Uh, in this case, uh, it's very small. It is specialized only to read X, uh, X2, X3 partition and, on, and read only so the support is very small. It takes uh, not a lot of bytes. So for this, uh, it's a, a very nice uh, bootloader, but at very few features. And yes. And it works nearly automatically, so we don't need to run X Linux every time we install a new kernel, but in some case with uh, li uh, Linux uh, vol uh, logical volume management and, uh, the, and the rate and some rate configuration where we should be sure that the what's in, uh, ev in uh, the right uh, mirror there was uh, the, the kernel, there, there are the kernel. But uh, these are special, special requirements. So now the thing that we could start the discussion. I think that a bootloader should allow us to choose the kernel, to provide the kernel parameter when uh, something goes wrong, when we forgot the root password or yes, for new kernel. Sometimes uh, with X we should sometimes uh, Debian unstable is unstable, so we should have the single mode, and it should allow the init RAM, uh, loading the init RAM file system, and so also big image, images. Uh, I think a nice feature was the kernel, we should be able to run the kernel, a new kernel only once, and then go to the, the default. This was the case of Lilo. And it took a lot of time uh, to group to, to have this feature, but now they are group as this feature, so it's not mere a blocker. Should be usable uh, by system administration error, 
this not the real professional systems administration that I hope they they will not make uh, such a dummy mistake, but for the normal user that we need to that will uh, to test new kernel. Then uh, it should be easy to install and this is my opinion, uh, install and run uh, the mem test 86 because a lot of time we saw, see memory bugs and we give, and we, yes, we file bugs about kernel, about X when they are not really bugs. It should be easy to configure and uh, I think now I, I think that the actual ball loader are not so simple, uh, not easy to configure. They are I, should I think we should uh, do something better. properly documented and the document describes what the program does in excellent detail. Yes, I agree that uh, documentation in, in, it's important. Uh, then maybe it's also a problem of the community because so I so sh should say that a lot of time I don't use the official uh, Lilo documentation but there are a lot of uh, nice how to and over documentation. But yes, for, for Grab2, this was a big problem. And it seems that now there are a, lo a, a lot more pages, but I didn't control uh, accurately because the problem of the Grab group uh, website is it has a lot of links, but then they don't work. Yes. And uh, yes, it's a problem. I, f I found yesterday that now group two at a, a nice documentation on what to do when things go wrong. And this is, uh, it was lacking, it's a, it was a big problem of group two. And uh, X Linux uh, has a lot of documentation on, on how to write new interface so for uh, developers, but it lack uh, also in this case the documentation for user and how to use for the normal desktop case. So, yeah. And then, okay, so the, the Lilo, the problem is unmaintained. It's uh, don't handle uh, the big kernel. It, it don't support the multi-boot uh, protocol standard that it's required by Xen. And uh, yes, some people forget to run Lilo. And, uh, and it seems that uh, Manoj removed the post uh, hook script in the kernel package because it was so buggy. And so we should find also some automatically tools so that when we install a Debian kernel, Lilo will uh, automatically be, be run. But I should still uh, discuss with Ma Manoj because yes, it was a very recent uh, change, I think. And uh, group one is no more uh, really maintained, so we cannot go to group, group one. Group two, the problem is the training of whole system admin. They are not, as Jana said, there are not a lot of documentation. 
it use uh, non uh, it use non linux uh, partition notation so it's also a problem uh, that a lot of time personally i am off one i have the of one problem because all partition all disk uh, star start with zero and uh, we are uh, i'm uh, i'm using always the first partition is one but okay, it's uh, my problem. It's with is is not a D zero uh, comma zero for the first partition in group. Uh, yes, yes. And what is the zero partition? It's the... Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, the partition uh, schema notation. Uh, ADA1, but uh, it has uh, own uh, notation. Yes, yes. Yes, but uh, people will uh, get starting to use. Yes. And uh, I'm still wondering if uh, Group 2 will be released. Please, yeah. I don't know if you know some information. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, because or they are working a lot of on it. There are a lot uh, of uh, working on... Uh, I, I, I can, I can make quite of an announcement, because I, uh, yesterday or uh, two years ago, I... I I talked with uh, Group 2 IRC and uh, I said, hey, if, if you don't code password uh, support, uh, it won't be used by mainstream distros, yeah. um, by main distros. So uh, they have begun uh, yesterday or so to, to code password support. So it's yeah. You know, if you if you don't have password support in in a school, even uh, if a group two, if you, even if the distro has group two, the people the season mm -hmm. people would switch to group one. So yes, yes, for sure. I, I don't know when it will be released. Uh, I hope that is it is released when it is ready. Yes, but some s <laughs> it's would also nice to have some uh, new pre-release version to know that uh, starting to from 0 0.99 it has such for support, uh, 98 at such support, and, but yeah. And the big advantage of group two is that it uh, it supports a lot of architecture, not only the 
the Lin uh, the PC. It uh, supports a lot of uh, file system. So it's yes. I don't like it, but uh, it, uh, it it is uh, great. And it supports natively the over operating system, also uh, over uh, kernel, uh, so also the free BSD kernel and, and such. And then the last uh, is uh, X Linux, as the two is make no sense. It's a uh, very file system specific to have the the assembly code very small, but then there are a lot of, of different uh, program uh, for different uh, file system. It's too new, so that uh, there are not so much documentation. Uh, we don't know exactly uh, where they are the problem. I don't know if it w could work on the server uh, solution on schools. And it support also on the name only Linux. Really, it has the multi-boot support, so it can boot over operating system. But uh, yes, uh, you cannot install uh, by now X Linux on uh, from uh, over operating system. So, yes, it can boot over operating system, but it's not really a, it's only a Linux only system. The advantage, uh, we already use it for the CD. The maintainer, it's a, uh, no, a lot of uh, this boot uh, sequence, but yeah. So then, the, so the question is, uh, we should uh, remove Lilo. We should have only one supported uh, uh, bootloader. And uh, at the end, uh, you have some doubts if the lack of uh, multi-boot support is a problem of Lilo or a problem of Xen. Because also in Xen, uh, fact, they say, say that they are uh, la lazy people and they don't have time to implement, to really implement uh, Linux uh, Im image to boot. Maybe it's also not so difficult to, to create this image because we have we, uh, we have only to add small support about uh, self-encryption, no, self-decompression uh, in the initial uh, sector. So now the you should uh, tell me if you want uh, only one bootloader, if we should remove Lilo or Is there any feature that uh, Lilo has that uh, Grab One doesn't have? That's the first question I can think uh, of. Grab One, I think it don't have the uh, the feature to to load uh, a kernel only once. And uh, I use a lot of this feature for remote server. When I should test a new kernel, I put uh, in the parameter panic five. So if it cannot boot, then in the next boot, I will uh, really work in kernel. I think uh, group one don't have it, but group two has this feature. And yeah, uh, well, in fact, uh, I group two has has the same feature. Yes. Well, I, it might it might not be documented, but I, uh, and you can do it. It's in group two, yes, but uh, he asked group, group one. one. Group also one. group one. Oh. Yeah, you say that uh, default and. Uh, fallback so uh, ah, yes, in the uh, usually in, in order to how's that in order to um, in order to set default entry 
you use a number. So that zero is the first entry, one is the second entry. If you use a uh, save it uh, string, S A V E D, um, it looks into a save default file, which is found at uh, slash boot slash group. And uh, so when you boot uh, a, a, a kernel entry with panic uh, equals five, uh, you can choose before uh, booting this kernel uh, to say save default uh, is two. And okay. two is another boot entry. So the next time you reboot, it boots entry two because you are saying default save. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, it can okay. be done. Uh, the, the only thing is that uh, it has been reported several times that uh, this does not work. So uh, I suppose it, it, it is a bug. It does uh, happen in some setups, in some distribution, it happens uh, more frequently. So it's it, it does work, but uh, if you if you are lucky, so it, it depends. Okay. On yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I, I have I have read a lot I have read a lot of uh, forum uh, support questions and um, about this issue and sometimes it does not it does not work. Okay. I, I don't I do not know what is the Debian specific status. But to answer, I think that in any case we should not go to group one. If we should choose uh, a bootloader group two when it is ready, but uh, if we will uh, now go to support only what one uh, one uh, bootloader, and in a few years when uh, we should change again, I don't think it's so good. Well, that depends on the freeze. If freeze is uh, going to be soon. Uh, grab one is the one that's working. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, I think that uh, using grab two is uh, a good release goal. But if the freeze is happening too soon, that uh, won't be able to. Well, we know what the freeze is. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we have the proposal, but uh, <laughs> I'm not that sure. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's on the webpage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I won't start uh, a yes. plane there. <laughs> so group one is uh, already the default uh, bootloader, so... So there's no other chance, I think, I'm afraid. What? Two? S there's no other chance, I'm afraid, because One? it looks like group two is not ready yet. Yes, but uh, yes, this discussion is not for the next uh, release, because also I don't think that we could remove Lilo for the next release. But it's more... Uh, for uh, for the future, what we should do? Postpone the release until next year. And and we will, but I don't think that we will uh, solve all the group uh, two problem. And uh, I don't think it's so important to. We have s we still have uh, now we have a uh, working. Uh, uh, bootloader, so we can continue to to have group one for the future. Uh, I, I wanted I wanted to ask the the question about uh, is there any setup when when Lilo is needed because group one does does not do the shop the the, the work. So uh, yes. Uh, the, there are uh, some strange M L LVM plus write setups and or, or whatever it is. Uh, maybe a, a new file system that is not s uh, supported by group yet. But uh, in this case, and and what what um, y you can do with Lilo is uh, just install it, and it tracks down the sector number and whatever you whatever file system whatever strange thing you have it usually boots the the kernel because it just uh, looks for the specific sector and, and boots it so it's 
it's quite good at, at, at it. Although I, I, I do not like Lilo at all, but in some setups, uh, uh, Lilo does work and group two, group one does not work. Group two, it depends on, on group two works mm. better, but it depends but on uh, exactly the, the setup. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's my opinion about Uh, I don't know if somebody of you know exactly what setup work on Lilo and not on group. Because every time the, we discuss in, uh, b uh, the Lilo removal, there was some, uh, some case uh, in uh, the mailing list, but we don't uh, know exactly what was the problem. Could you pass the mi microphone? So uh, one thing that's quite obvious that works with Lilo and doesn't work with Grub is if everything is on LVM. And the reason for this is that Lilo encodes the actual block numbers of the pieces of the bootloader um, and it asks the Linux LVM system at sort of map install time. So that means that the bootloader itself doesn't have to understand LVM, whereas I think think, if I'm not mistaken, that even Grub2 still does not understand LVM2 metadata, which is, it would need a parser for if it were to support slash boot on LVM. In fact, I, I, I'm, uh, in fact, Grub2 does uh, support uh, some kind of LVM boot. I, I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about it, but uh, they are working both in LVM and in uh, write support, so that you can have uh, LVM plus write support in a final group two. Uh, the thing is, I, I do not know what, what is the current status of what uh, it is actually supported and what it is not supported. But but there is some kind of uh, LVM support in Group Two. But uh, yeah, but uh, you have to check in SVN and in the mailing list and ask them. The, uh, yeah, so the, uh, the lack of documentation on Group is yeah. Is yeah that's I, I want to work on that. Yeah. yeah. So there's a utility called mbootpack, which can be used to take a set of multi-boot images um, and turn them into a thing that's acceptable to Lilo. Um, and uh, so I've successfully used that to boot Zen um, with Lilo in a configuration where I wasn't able to get Grub to work at all because, you know, well, I don't know exactly what was wrong, but... But um, with the default Debian, Xen kernel, and uh, because well, I've seen that the, the I, problem I, I, is I work for Zen upstream, so in this particular okay, case, yeah, it was an yeah. upstream Zen. But yeah, it yeah. was a perfectly ordinary Zen multi-boot image and a Linux multi-boot kernel and an init RD, and you run mboot pack and you get a single file that's got a little piece of code at the front that sets up all the multi-boot stuff. Because the Lilo. Uh, at also the problem of very big image. So when we have a big kernel, big init rams and, and uh, such Well, thing. evidently I didn't hit that particular problem. But uh, I see, I think that it was uh, corrected uh, at the beginning of this year. I don't know, but I just thought I'd mention that. Yeah, yes, it, yes. it has various advantages as well because it seems somehow wrong to make a copy of the kernel image, but actually what you do is you make a copy of the kernel image that then is owned by the boot system, and then when the kernel package is updated, your system doesn't become unbootable because the old mboot packed file with the old init ramfs and the old kernel and everything is still there. Yeah. What's the name? Mboot pack, all one word. Stands for multi boot pack. 
And so we should add something also in the Xen documentation, Debian Xen documentation too. Yeah, that might be worthwhile. So some other uh, comments. There, there is uh, another, well, this is a personal uh, opinion. Uh, it's about the CD-ROM Debian installer. Okay, it's about yeah. CD-ROM Debian installation. Debian installation CD-ROM. Uh, it currently boots with uh, ISO Linux. So I think that uh, in uh, two years, two years time or whatever it is, we should we should switch to group two so that we have a um, uh, group two in uh, in all the ways of booting the, the distribution even in network in network booked because uh, it, it is going to be improved to the network is st stuck in in group two and the the only mm, drawback that I see in group two as the CD room default bootloader is uh, blind people um, getting blind people to bright uh, boot options because in uh, ISO Linux you, you get a prompt and you can bright uh, um, as fast as the, as the CD boots but in uh, group 2 you have to some kind of uh, Writing the uh, type in C letter, and then uh, if you have to boot by commands, uh, you have to type to write a lot of things. However, I think that uh, if as long as Group Two has script support, uh, it might uh, and an script might be written uh, so that. Um, it is the same thing as uh, as uh, ISO Linux, so that you write uh, installer, so that you want to, to install and not, uh, let's say, uh, you don't write rescue because you want to rescue, installer, space, and whatever options you want. So th there's, there should be a, a way in group two to allow uh, direct uh, typing instead of uh, instead yeah. of having to type C letter to, to write the boot options so that blind people can can use it uh, easier. Yeah. But it would be a huge task, I think, to have group uh, to boot the CD. Because I, as I read in the ISO Linux mailing list, there are so many crap uh, BIOS, uh, CD, ROM driver that you should yeah. wait, you should... There are so many special cases that uh, to make all people happy, it's uh, difficult. But uh, yes, it's nice to have also this option and then, yeah. Mm. And maybe, to, yes, uh, to move. Uh, yeah, the thing about crappy BIOS is, is, is interesting because uh, group one also have uh, CD room boot cap capabilities, and uh, I, I think that it is not uh, group one not having that uh, nice graphical uh, boot as it has a uh, Korean Solinus uh, boot. I think that the, the main problem is uh, that but it does. Booting uh, boot from CD or booting a CD image? Uh, no, but in, but in uh, directly from a di di but in from CD, yeah. not but in a, but in a CD ROM is Im image. No, I'm not talking about that. Uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, why Group One is not uh, at, uh, at CD ROM boot. Uh, the answer is because of crappy BIOS and. Uh, Group one didn't want group one maintainers didn't want to deal with these crappy bills and they they wanted to 
to to keep the code clean so yeah. they they don't uh try this uh, crappy bios code but uh, in that workarounds and so on uh, group two i suppose that uh, we'll have better cd room boot support but i i do not know what's what's the current state uh, uh, regarding this crappy EPOs. yeah, I don't know what's the policy. Okay. So, so I if you have no questions, mm -hmm. I I'm going to talk about another subject. Yeah. It's about uh, boot images. We have five minutes, but you five can, yeah. yeah. Uh, group two can boot, uh, no. Uh, group two can read inside ISO uh, images so that you can have a uh, um, USB pen drive with uh, several uh, distribution ISOs. And, uh, well, you may say you, you can boot the ISO image. No, you you can uh, a group can look into uh, look inside the ISO images, can track the kernel and the init RD, and if the kernel and init RD has uh, ISO 9660 loop support, it can look inside the see the room ISO file two and boot it. So I it is a quite nice feature that group two has and I think that uh, no one else has. Yeah. Uh, that there are some distros that uh, support booting from uh, ISO loopback but uh, there, there are not too many right, right now. So we enter the discussion and uh, I would, uh, I will try to su uh, summarize uh, some of this discussion for the mailing list. But yeah, okay. <laughs>